You listed 10 things they got wrong, and the media is not reporting they got it wrong. Does that frustrate you? Well, I, I think it, it, it certainly does, Brian. Hunter and to Biden? Me, <clears throat> yes, that's right. Uh, to, to me, what these 10 things signified, it's, it's my 10 big media lies. Everybody has their own list. You could make a list of at least 100. Uh, but my, the point for me ultimately is that when all of this started with Trump in 2016 campaign, I believe that what what the media was up to uh, was largely a matter of prejudice. They, they don't like Republicans. They they always want a Democratic president, and so this was a matter of media bias. But but now here we are, five years later, since all the guardrails of standards were taken away by the media, when they can say every reporter is now an opinion columnist, and and every paper front page to back, and every broadcast is anti-Trump, anti-Trump, anti-Republican. It's no longer a matter of prejudice. It is now willful malpractice. It is a form of corruption. They cannot be counted on to tell the truth anymore. So if you look at something, you read it, and you say, "Uh, I don't know. But, you know, the New York Times says it. No, 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 no. Don't trust the New York Times. Trust your gut. I mean, that's how bad it is now. And it it is a tragedy for America that we have a media that willfully tells you something that's not true. So they just cover it uh, with their opinion as if it's fact. For example, with the Wuhan lab theory, now that it looks like it's got global momentum and full of facts, it's unfrozen by YouTube and Facebook, which is another story. They say, well, it was Donald Trump's fault for politicizing it. What do you mean he politicized it? He brought it up. Well, that he's so polarizing. When he brought it up, that really should have been an indication he wasn't serious or it wasn't a real lab. Even sometimes even Donald Trump is right. What are you talking about? He's president of the United States speaking uh, his mind about the most consequential issue affecting every American's lives. How is that being partisan? Well, I, I think it— <clears throat> What happened, Brian, uh, again, we go back to the five years uh, starting in 16, is that uh, the media used Trump as an excuse that whatever he was for, they were going to be against. And they carried that so far that it ended up making them look crazy. Uh, I mean, they overreact to everything he said and did. And so, you know, whether it was the, uh, the China virus, all of that, they had to disprove in their own mind. So everything he said became a lie, and therefore they were the truth. But you know, these st- facts are stubborn things, and you can ignore them for a long time, but eventually they will come out. And, uh, the, you know, the Lafayette Park case being a great example, everybody said it instantly it was all done for a photo op for Trump. Well, here you have the Interior Department's inspector general after Trump is out of office saying, no, 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 this was a plan. And they have examples from people on the ground how this was the plan, that the police clearing the park didn't even know Trump was coming. They were doing it because a contractor was to start installing a fence and the next morning. And You know, Brian, since I've written that column, a number of people have written to me just ignoring the Interior Department's report and just saying, oh, you're just lying to cover up Trump. It was just a photo. I mean, facts don't matter to a certain segment of the population, including the media. And that's what is so concerning. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.